The Leadership and Advocacy Programme was origi originally developed to afford students with learning challenges, learning disabilities, the opportunity to enjoy third level. Traditionally students with learning disabilities are excluded from third level and therefore cannot enjoy the opportunities that the rest of us can enjoy. So that was the main reason the Department of Humanities in Limerick Institute of Technology started um, the programme Leadership and Advocacy. Since then, over five years ago, this programme, which is the only one of its kind, has developed and it has developed so well um, that we are currently now delivering a new programme communications um, which is an advanced program so those that have um, studied leadership and advocacy and have graduated from that program are now given the opportunity to progress onto the more advanced program. So not only does it allow students a second opportunity, it also encourages those students that are involved in leadership and advocacy to have ambitions beyond the program they originally set. So it's very important for these students to have opportunities to progress just like all other students in third level have the opportunity to progress. Okay, so I'm just going to tell you a little bit about how the Leadership and Advocacy Programme benefits our social care course. And I suppose really the basic philosophy here in LIT is active learning. And the involvement of the social care students is hugely around active learning or experiential learning. And what we mean, what we mean by that is that the students become involved in the programme in a very practical way. They're allowed to become, use their innovative skills, their creative skills, and the, the theory that they learn in class, they're able to apply that on the ground. Um, for me, I suppose when I heard about the Leadership and Advocacy course, um, I wanted to do it maybe for a challenge, or I've never worked with anyone with disability before, so it was new to me. <clears throat> and what I found I'm getting from it is just, um, I suppose it's opened my eyes about maybe the people that we're, we're co-learning with, that they've, they're so much more capable maybe than we expect them to be. I find that they're all empowered and that they know their rights and they know what they want and what they want to go for and that's kind of helping me, maybe giving me some ideas. And I think what I like about the program the most is that there is a real partnership, there's a real opportunity for students to, to learn how to be with other people who have intellectual disabilities. But there's also a flexible, the program's flexible enough that it changes and takes on the characteristics and the needs and the desires and the dreams as each student kind of moves through the program. So the program is a little bit different every year. We're not stuck to kind of hard and fast rules or hard and fast syllabus. And that really comes from the engagement and the kind of chemical reaction that happens between our social care students and our leadership and advocacy students. It's great fun at the time for students to come together. It's also about what they learn to take out of here um, to enrich their own lives and the lives of people that they, they live with um, towards, I suppose, um, gaining greater respect um, and, and get, getting more meaning out of their own lives and their everyday experiences. You graduated from the Leadership and Advocacy Programme in 2011. Yeah. Yeah. I must say, you made my job teaching communications very easy because you do communicate in a different way. But I often wondered, does it make you feel different because of that? No, because I am the same as everyone else. Okay. Would you like to tell me what was the most important thing for you? I'll tell you, but the most important thing, but the most important thing for me here is, it is a uh, number one, being being human. You treat it as if you are human anyway, and um, there I think I think there tends to be a lot of social barrier around disability and like, and it's and th that is sad, and they kind and they kind of how to get around the area of disability rights. Now I'm in an area at the moment, and that's up in my CV, and uh, but. Uh, but I just think, I think I have a strong view that people should overlook my disability and see myself. And I find that, I find that, I think that's actually, that's sad. I think that's very sad. Because when you have a disability, you have something knocked up here. And like, I think, I think that's where, and that's where this course has benefited me because that, because that, 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 that's a tragedy. That's a tragedy, if that means society. And um, we need to change our outlook. Uh, I think the more we shout out about it, the more people will listen.
Did the ghost help you to do that? I think, I think it did. It, it, it did. I, I need practice with socialising. But, um, but like um, that, like I say, within that barrier, because, because people, I think people often think that there's kind of an inability counting over disability. And like when there's a hidden disability, it's something that there. But just as a staff member here in LIT, and when I seeing a program like this, it's it's interesting how it actually affects the the college itself, and how looking at like the history of of, of the college, like from COAC through RTC to LIT, and looking at the plans we have going forward for where the college is going, like to see a, a program like this, like it really opens up like social spaces and community involvement, which are like the stated goals of of where the college is looking to see itself going. I can seeing a program like this really brings the college along and, and really has a very positive impact, you know, college wide I suppose really. Um, I think it's it's just the awareness that it brings to the students and the staff here in LIT. Um, it's just incredible because a lot of people I suppose wouldn't realise that, you know, these students are, are out there in society and you know they have so much to give and they have so much you know, they, they are so, um, I suppose, open to, to the different experiences and this in particular to them is, is a, an amazing experience that a lot of other people might take for granted. But this to them, the whole idea of coming in and, you know, doing a course at third level is, is such an opportunity and it's something that they really enjoy and really benefit from. I think it is absolutely vital that we provide an opportunity for uh, the students on the leadership and advocacy program to come into a third level environment and in their own way and in many different ways the one thing that that they've expressed every single year that I've met them because I always meet them um, as part of their their schedule I meet them one of the mornings I go out and, and meet them during their class they say it is so great to be here I never thought that I would get to an institute of technology or I never thought that I would get to further education. Um, I never thought I would meet real students and I am now a real student and you can see the eyes lighting up and you can see how they really want to tell you this.